We've just released another new version, so let's find out what's new and improved in PHP Storm 2016.3. It's my video, so we'll start with the things I like the best, and that's the improved PHP 7 support. Remembering to add the strict types declaration at the top of every file can be a pain. Now you can use the new inspection to do that for you. You can turn on the missing strict types declaration inspection in the inspections pane, and then you'll get warnings or errors if you have no declare strict types as the first line of your file. You can easily add them by using the intention. To alleviate the tedium of adding the declare strict type statement to every file in a whole project, as with any inspection, you can run it across the scope of a project using run inspection by name. Once it's run, you can quickly fix the problem using the add strict types declaration button. New code style options have been added, particularly around return type hints in PHP 7. You can easily add a space between the closing bracket and the colon in a return type hint, and you can jiggle how new line breaks happen. One of the most asked for features in PHP Storm is PHP spec support, and we've added it in 2016.3. The new integration gives you code completion and navigation right within your IDE. Here you can see that once you've called the method that you want to test, PHP Storm knows to give you code completion on the matches that you need to test the return of that method. You also get full navigation. Here we can command click and write our code to make the test pass. It also comes with a test runner, similar to that for BHAT or PHP unit. It looks like I've broken something. I guess I better fix those red tests. As with every release, we've done a number of improvements to the editor. This time we've added some excellent new features. Turning on semantic highlighting makes variables a different color. Each variable can be given a different color, which makes it much easier to see the flow of variables across your program. There have been improvements around creating new files in PSR0 or PSR4 namespaced applications. As long as your directory configuration is correct, Creating new classes in namespaces that don't exist automatically create those subfolders. This also works for tests and is a great improvement. Another long-awaited feature is the ability to add more than one project into the same frame, perfect for microservices. Just make sure that you select File Open and Not Open Recent and select Add to Existing Project. We've improved code completion when you're overriding methods from a class you're extending. You no longer need to type the keyword public, protected or private. There's a whole raft of new inspections around naming conventions to check that your naming meets the conventions you set. You can find them in the inspections panel and each name needs to meet a regular expression pattern that you can set here. You can also set a minimum and maximum length. As you can with any inspection, you can quickly edit the rules by using Alt and Enter and then selecting Edit Inspection Settings. And finally, you can now add Docker as a remote interpreter. Just add it as you would any other PHP interpreter selecting Remote and configure everything correctly. Then, you can use this remote interpreter to run things like PHP Unit or Mess Detector on your remote interpreter. Just select the interpreter you want and you'll need to give a path to the uh, Composer Autoloader in order, in this instance, for PHP Unit to run. Then you can just run your tests as normal, but they'll run against the remote interpreter and not your local machine. There's been some new support added that we just don't have time for here, such as selecting a variable name without selecting the dollar, improved anonymous classes support, and improved support of list and arrays of objects. We've also had our usual bundle of features around database, JavaScript and version control that we get thanks to the other products. So why not give PHP Storm 2016.3 a try? You can download a trial copy at jetbrains.com slash phpstorm and we'd love to know what you think. Thank you for watching.